now and ever shall be, world without end.
know this is a home going, and I know that we are grieving, we are sad, but can we just help me celebrate God for the life? Sister Aria, can we give God praise? Come on, can we celebrate God in this morning? Come on, for we recognize that if it had not been for the Lord, who was on our side, we don't know where we would be. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with crying. Ain't nothing wrong with being saved. But I come to tell you that God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. As a matter of fact, God is going to be the one that's going to give us through this. So thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to pray in this moment as we prepare for this worship experience. I know this is a whole going, ongoing, but we are still in worship. Amen. 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 And so, God, we thank you and we glorify you, God. For allowing us to see this day. And God, we realize that it's a hard day to see. Because God, you allow one of your precious flowers to transition into glory. And so, God, we need this worship experience. Matter of fact, God, we need you. We need you more than we ever needed you before. So God, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you might have your way. God, in spite of what we're going through, we still bless your name. In spite of the pain, we still give you glory. In spite of the hurt, God, we still lift your name on high. Because God, you are good not good sometimes, but you're good all the time. For that, God, we say thank you. God, have your way in this place. Move like only you can. When it's all said and done, we will give your name praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' precious name we do pray. And every believer in God say, Amen. We have our opening hymn by Sister Tony Hall. Following that, we will have the Old Testament scripture reading by Brenda Bartley, the New Testament reading by Deacon Michael Freeman, and then the prayer of comfort by Deacon Elaine Boone or Emma.
God through his Lord. We can watch the arrow and shoot just as great. My chapter here today is that I want a small one to read the scripture. So be encouraged. Matthew 11, 28. He said, Come unto me, all you that labor, and I give it to you. I will give you rest. Yeah. Take me to the plane and burn your rain.
ain't no body like a Holy Ghost body.
She demonstrated her faith in it for the love of her family, church family, and friends. Your sorrow is our sorrow, and you are not alone in your time of bereavement. Sister Freeman confessed Jesus Christ as her Savior and joined the New Hope Baptist Church on Sunday, October 27, 2023, where she became a candidate for baptism. Amen. She stated that God had been so good to her that she was ready to work for him and give him the glory. Amen. Her first request was to sing in the choir. Amen. Aria did not get a chance to sing in his earthly choir. But I believe she is singing with the Father in heaven. Whereas the past and Aurea's days among us were too brief, we draw comfort in the knowledge that she has found safe refuge in the Lord and in our hearts. Her presence among us will be missed, but we will never forget how she touched our lives. Therefore, to the family, we know your loss is painful, but more importantly, we recognize this loss is heaven's gain. We are here to love and support you during this difficult time, but with prayers and memories, we will find peace. Done by the order of the New Hope Baptist Church, humbly submitted on this 11th day of November, 2023, on the behalf of the officers and members of the New Hope Baptist Church, Wayland, Virginia. Reverend Orrick L. Eland, Jr., Pastor, Ruth Astin, Church Clerk. Amen. Amen. Amen.
we are going to move into a period of reflections. And uh, after that, we will have a solo by uh, Deacon Wendell Gibbons. And he and I will come back to give the eulogy. I will ask that while you are giving reflections, that you keep your reflections to two minutes. Amen. Please limit them uh, to two minutes because we want to make sure that the family has enough time to celebrate and to move into the process that they have to go into. And so I ask you again to please respect two minutes for your reflections. Amen. Brave 
warm. And and just 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 a beautiful heart. And um, there's so much more I could say, but I, I don't you know I don't want to keep it going on. And I'm not a big talker, but that was my baby, and, 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 and all of y'all's baby too. And I know every every everyone. I can look at faces I see out here, and that she's touched all of y'all. In, in every way, Amen. and in every love, and every friendship, and y'all know it, y'all know it, God bless this beautiful child. Amen.
under my preaching at New Hope as Pastor Elect. Yeah. 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 And I was so excited about the opportunities to baptize her and go through new members training with her and I was installed or preparing to be installed officially as pastor and to find out that eight days later uh, she transitioned to be with the Lord and I'm not going to be arrogant one of these super religious Christians that try to fake the funk. I had a whole lot of people in my mind that the Lord could have taken. Some of you are thinking the same thing I'm thinking. just said to myself, why God? And I have learned that God is big enough to handle our questions. Anybody that you are in relationship with and you cannot ask questions, you're in a dictatorship. Not in a relationship. And I ask God, I've been talking to God all week, asking God, what is it what message are we able to get from this situation and the life of Sister Maria? And God led me to the gospel according to Luke. Luke's gospel, and I thank you, Sister Lynn, for helping us today. Luke 23, two verses, verses 42 and 43. Heavenly Holy Ghost. Luke 23, Verse 42 and 43, the text reads, Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly I tell you, today. 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 You will be with me in paradise. The grass withers, the flower there fades, but the word of our God shall stand forever. And with help from the Holy Spirit, I would like to tag this text with the subject in mind before I let go. Before I let go. Um, church, I, I had the privilege of meeting Sister Aria uh, for the first time on Sunday, October 22nd. Ironically, my wife's birthday, her cousin, if you will. When she was sitting in the back of the church, attending the morning worship. Following morning worship, Sister Bonda invited my wife and I to the home house and uh, invited us to come get a plate and Sister Aria fixed my wife and I a plate of food. Y'all know I really love her already. <laughs> and while 
She was fixing that plate of food. She was talking to us about how excited she was uh, that she gave her life to Christ for she came down the aisle and gave her life to Christ and requested to be baptized. She, she was excited family about uh, uh, being baptized. And, and then I was sitting by Mother Clanton and Mother Clanton began to talk to me and she shared with me about the fact that her granddaughter loved to sing and love music. Matter of fact, I got word that she had joined the choir yes, even before she received the right hand of fellowship. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I like people like that. Yes, because there have some people, there are some people that have sat in the church all of their life yes. and don't plan on serving. Don't worry, sir. And if you ask them to do something, they're going to look at you like you cussed right in their face. But I want to park right there and go parenthetically that Sister Aria teaches us something about ministry and serving God for. I want to tell somebody that church membership does not equate to relationship with God. Because you can be in the church all your life and not know the one you're coming to church for. But on her first Sunday back, she decided that I'm not coming to hear the latest gossip. I'm not coming to see who likes me or who doesn't. I'm not coming so I can get likes on Facebook. The reason why I came to church is because I want to serve the Lord. I wonder, is there anybody here that can testify that maybe you might look good, but I ain't come for you today. I ain't come to see what you are wearing. I ain't come to hear the latest gossip. I came because I want to make a joyful noise. I came to bless the Lord. See, church, I was excited about Sister Aria uh, coming to New Hope and giving her life to Christ. And I was excited about the fact that she was ministry-minded already. But can I be honest? I got upset, y'all. I, I got upset because you would think that God will let a person like Sister Aria stick around. Right. Y'all got the brakes on. Yeah. Yeah. You would think with all the Negroes in the world that God could have taken. I'm, out. I'm, out. I'm talking about those mean jokes. Those ones that when you speak to them, they roll their eyes at you. Know they talk. God, you could have took uh, the former president. If you wanted to take somebody, take his crazy guy. Talking about making America great again. No, no, no. God, you could have took him. You could have took anybody else that, that did not want to do right, but God, you allowed someone that was headed in the right direction uh, to be taken from this earth. We didn't even know uh, if she could sing solos yet. We didn't even know if she was going to be the next minister in training. We had no idea if she was going to be the next deacon. We had no idea if she was going to be the one that was going to lead youth ministry. I, we don't know because the Lord took her prematurely. And um, I wrestled with that thing because I said, God, why would you take somebody like that? And if we were honest, I'm almost done, but if we were honest, I'm not the only one in here who feels like I feel. 
Because some of you come today, you're hurt. You're broken. You're heartbroken. Confused. Perplexed. Bewildered and devastated. Because God took one of God's precious flowers early. You don't understand why God would allow something like this to happen. Some of you are saying, how in the world could God allow something like this to happen to Sister Clinton's granddaughter? Well, as I was having my little pout with God and thinking about this very moment where I had to eulogize my dear sister. I remembered what Mother Clinton had shared with me. She said, shared with me that Sister Aria loved to sing and Sister Aria loved music. So while I was sitting reflecting about what I was going to share with you Today, up on the radio, the song by uh, Frankie Beverly at Maze yeah. start playing. All right, all right. And, uh, and yeah, I don't listen to church music at all day. Y'all ain't hearing me. And yes, I'm saved. I love the Lord. Amen. Every now and then I need to hear Look Luther. Y'all ain't talking about Every now and then, I need to tell my wife, you got me going in circles. Y'all. So don't judge the preacher. Don't judge the preacher. But I was listening to Frankie Beverly and Mays, and the song came on before I let go. And I started deep listening to the song that said, you made me happy. Uh, this you can bet. You stood right beside me, yeah. Uh, I won't forget. Uh, and I really love you. Y'all know the song, don't you? Uh, you should know. I want to make sure I'm right. <laughs> Before Lord have I let go. And see, then God started talking to me and said, See, Orin, don't let uh, what seems to look like tragedy make you misinterpret what's really going on. See, Sister Aria was not taken away, but she decided to let go. Y'all ain't talking about it. My brothers and sisters, I come today to let us know that Sister Aria reminds us that all of us one day are going to have to let go of the craziness of this world. We're going to have to let go of the foolishness of this world. We're going to have to let go of pain, heartache, and suffering. Uh, is there anybody here that can testify that this world is not my home? I'm just passing through. I don't care who you are. All of us have a birthday. And then all of us got a date that we got to meet our maker. Uh, so at the end of the day, you better start getting ready. Because all of us are going to be right there. Sister Aria is. She just made it there before us. So I come to tell you today that don't think that God took her. Uh, she decided to let go. Because she understood that uh, this world is not where my permanent residence is. Uh, I'm just simply passing through. All of us, beloved, are passing through. And all of us are on our way to somewhere. You can pick your destination. Y'all ain't talking to me. But all of us are going somewhere. That's why you ought not to be playing with your life and act like you got all day and all time to get your life together. The devil is a liar. People are going away from here quickly now. Uh, you better get your house in order. Get it right with God and do it now. Uh, she, she let go of it. And, 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 and Sister Aria shares some things with us, beloved, that's going to help us. Because all of us are going to have to let go one day. Uh, but the question becomes, uh, what do we need to do <laughs> before 
before we let go. Uh, in this text, this text deals with two brothers. They were considered to be thieves, but they were two brothers that life hit them hard. They were experiencing some troubles. I'm not going to call them bad people. Because good people go through bad things. You know what I'm and if the truth be told, all of us have done something wrong. <laughs> all of us, even the deacon, the preacher, the usher, all of us up in here have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so life had these two brothers in a situation. And the situation had them locked up and pinned up and nailed to an old rugged cross. And through the life of these men, I believe that Sister Arita is talking to us today. And she wants to give us some lessons to help us before we let go. First thing, and I'm almost done. First thing, family, you need to realize that Sister Aria teaches us through her life is that before we let go, we must get closer to Jesus. Look at the neighbor and say, get close. Oh, that mercy to Jesus. Ah, beloved, I love the text and I love her life because the text says that these two people, although they have had a rough life, at the final stages of their life, before they are getting ready to transition, what I love about a deacon window is that they are nailed to a cross. But at least they are in close proximity to Jesus. Uh, some of you miss your shouting right there. Because you remember that it was on October 22nd, eight days before she died, that she realized that before I let go, I got to give my life and come closer to Jesus. Because baby, you can't move without having the Lord by your side. Uh, and the problem is, beloved, is that we have too many people in this walk of life that are trying to move through situations of problems and troubles without the Lord on their side. But if you are going to make it in this walk of life, it's all right to have a boo, but your boo can't save you. Oh, uh, y'all ain't talking to me up here. It's all right to have your friends around you, but your friend can't make you a uh, holy. Your friends can uh, wake you up in the morning and start you on your way. If you are going to make it through life struggles, you're going to have to stay close to Jesus. Uh, you got to be close to Jesus. Before you let go, make sure you learn how to stay closer to Jesus. But secondly, Sister Aria teaches us that uh, before you let go, uh, you got to put some respect on his name. <laughs> you got to put some respect on his name. See, I love the text because uh, one of the uh, other persons that was on the cross decided to throw shade at Jesus. Yeah, y'all know what shade is, right? They, 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 they tried to throw shade at Jesus. And they tried to say stuff like, Jesus, how in the world can you call yourself the Messiah? When you're up here on this cross, you should save yourself and save us. Ah, uh, but uh, the other person on the cross said, child, you might as well hush your mouth. Because do you have any fear of God. Oh, God help me. In other words, uh, the, the other person said, I'm not going to let you diss my Savior like this. Because at the end of the day, we have made some mistakes in our lives. We have done some things we had no minutes doing. But the one in the middle who is in the same situation with us, he no wrong. Uh, you better learn how to put some respect on his name. Uh, beloved, and that's what I come to tell you is that uh, Sister Aria realized that before she let go, she had to put some respect on his name because I've learned that there's power in his name. Uh, 
there's healing in his name. Uh, there's peace in his name. There's joy in his name. Is there anybody here that knows that name? Uh, it's the name of Jesus. Every knee has to bow. And every tongue shall confess. Lord, I must say that Jesus is Lord. My grandmother used to say, can't nobody. No, got to break something back. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody hold me like Jesus. Can't nobody rock me to sleep like Jesus. Can't nobody get me spiritually high like Jesus. Is there anybody here that can testify that I've said so?
But if you need the Lord in your life, what better day than to come? Than today. Because guess what? In the text, yeah. it didn't even take Jesus eight days for the thief on the cross to make it to paradise. He said today, in essence, right now. <laughs> Somebody said right now. Right now. Right now. It, it don't take God long to move. And so I want to offer you Christ right now. If you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, I beg you to come. Every head bowed because listen, all I want you to do is lift your hands if you won't stop this. And this is nobody's business but you and God. If you need salvation in this moment, just lift your hands. If you want to be saved, just lift your hands. Nobody's looking for you good. This is not about any other church. This is about you and God, your relationship with God. Yeah. For so long, we thought that church membership equaled membership in the kingdom. No, I know some good church members that's all their way to hell. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So we want you to say, if you confess with your mouth, and believe in your heart. Right. Jesus was raised from the dead. You shall be saved. I see one. Thank you. I see one. I see one. Is there another? Is there another? Is there another? There another? There another? There another? Listen, we got time. Is there another? I believe there's someone else. Come on. Is there another? We want you saved. We'll find your church. If this church is not the right place for you, we'll find you somewhere. But we'll worry about you making it to where Sister Aria is. There's another. Come on. There's another. There's two. Come on. There's three. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm serious. Come on. Is there another? Is there another? Is there another? Come on. Is there another? And you don't have to be perfect. Come on. Come on. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to try to get it right. If you could have got it right, you would have got it right all right, all right and already now. But listen, we need you to come. Listen, Sister Mayman and someone, can you get their names very quick because we're getting ready to turn this and can you get their names because we're going to make sure. Listen, if you all confess with your mouth yeah. and believe in your heart that Jesus died, but on the third day he rose from the dead, do you believe that? Do you believe that? Oh, Guess what? Oh. You're saved in Jesus' name. Come on, can we rejoice through hope? Come on, can we rejoice through hope? Come on, can we rejoice? Come on, the heavens are rejoicing. Sister Aria is rejoicing. Hallelujah! 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 Listen, don't you all leave without Sister Mamie. Sister Mamie, raise your hand. That's Sister Mamie right there. I think it is Hamilton. She's right there. Make sure she gets your name and your information. And we're going to reach out to you all. Because guess what? God has done a mighty work to
God knows Thanksgiving is right around the corner. The holiday season. Just know that God is a keeper. Family and friends, we pray for your strength. This is not an easy process. But with God, all things are possible. In Jesus' name. God, we thank you and glorify you, God. For every person that gave their lives to Christ. And we thank you, God. That Sister Maria's life is not in vain. And we pray, God, for new beginnings in every person gave their lives to Christ. And maybe there might be more, God. We know, God, we don't move on our time. We move on yours. So, God, we pray for continual salvation in the name of Jesus. Now, God, as we prepare to transition from this place to the cemetery, we pray, oh God, that we will remember her life that we will carry on the legacy and remember God that there's some things we have to do before we let go. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Oh. Mm -hmm.